all right guys welcome back to the channel so as you can see today we are going to be playing UFC Undisputed 3 and we're going to be playing some pride mode man I miss this mode so much and we're going to be sticking with uh, the ultimate fighter theme I guess we're going to go with uh, Diego Sanchez I'm not sure who I'm going to fight against but let me find Diego here of course Diego was the first true, you know, the true first winner of the Ultimate Fighter. So I figure let's showcase him while he was in his prime. Because why not? And uh, I always thought of, like, what if he went to Pride? You know, how would he have done? You know, because it just seemed like his style, man, was just back in the day. It would just go crazy, you know. Imagine him with, you know, being able to throw like foot stomps and knees to the head of a downed opponent, things like that. I think he would have been great. But uh, but yeah, man. If you guys have not played this game or had a chance to play this game, I suggest you somehow try to get your hands on a copy, whether it be for the PS3 or Xbox 360. I think it can be backwards compatible on the Xbox One. I'm not 100% on that. But, I don't know, man. Go steal a copy. Do what you gotta do. But I suggest if you're a fan of combat sports video games, you should have at least played this game once in your life. That's just my opinion. But, uh, Marshall Mine kinda gave me the itch. You know, to play this game because I saw him, you know, I saw him post up. And of course, Marshall's one of the reasons I, you know, started to make videos. Just because, man, I love MMA and this gives me a chance to, you know, like I didn't want to be like a news, uh, you know, I didn't want to cover like the news and stuff, but I love video games. I love MMA. So put them together and boom, just do it as a hobby. So I'm not sure who this guy is, but he was wearing, like, the gi. So, he's probably a jiu-jitsu guy. Looks jacked. But, uh, so hopefully we can showcase some of the grappling. Like, to a lot of people, this is what they want. This is kind of the grappling system that they want. They, you know, they're always saying, why can't, you know, EA just pretty much copy and paste. Um the grappling system from this game and put it into one of theirs and that's because I think it's not as easy as you know some people think but I feel like yes this when it comes to the when it comes to the grappling this MMA game is it this is you know the gold standard so to speak and yeah so hopefully we get to showcase some of it and uh, hopefully we get some uh, ease to the head, some foot stomps, so we can showcase some of that pride uh, brutality. All right. You can't really touch gloves in this game. You can, you know, hold your hand out. Ooh, that was a nice one. And the thing I like about this game is it's not, you know, it's not just combo based. It's like, yes, you can throw combos, but it's not just, you know, walk forward and mindlessly throw combos and things like that. It's a single strike can change. Ooh, that was nice. Can change the fight. Like, look at that. He caught my knee in the clinch. How beautiful was that? And then I used the ropes to walk up. And, you know, circle out. Like I said, maybe the striking isn't the greatest. It hasn't aged the greatest, but the grappling, man. But still, the striking is not that bad. Kind of represents, you know, the pace of a MMA fight, really. Trying to go forward a bit. There's a hook there. Trying to jab. I'm trying to work the body a bit too. Oh, nice. That was a nice body kick. And I just played one game before I uh, 
before I decided to do a video too, so I don't know all like the controls. Try to watch the body there. But I, I got the basics down. Ooh, he almost hit me with the wrong ran there. He's gonna he's gonna shoot eventually to try to clinch, I feel. Ooh. Nice. That was that was a nice uh duck under uh double leg. That's the other thing. It just flows, man. Like right there, boom. I caught him with a takedown. Like it just like how I don't want to say this. I have it in my head, but trying to get it out of my mouth is okay. So it's just like like you can go from striking to grappling. So like uh, so um, like it just flows together. I guess is what I'm trying to say. Like you know, so like if you want to go from striking to a takedown, you can make it flow all like in one motion you know and there's the sprawl I reverse him i tried to land it either try to get some ground to pound and i love the like the posture up you can also faint strikes like you just saw me there i tried to faint a strike because he keeps catching my punches that's another thing you can catch punches when your opponent's trying to ground and pound you once again, their side could Ooh, he goes to mount, and I am getting mauled here. Just trying to posture up. And look, I can hold him too, see? Of course, you can only do that for so long because it burns up your stamina. I'm trying to catch a punch, but this guy's just mauling me here. Back in back control. Gonna go for a choke. No. He's not doing too much damage, so that's okay. Man, I'm just not used to. I haven't put the time in, you know. I'm sure with more practice, I'm trying to hold him, I'm trying to work my way to the ropes here. See if I can get up. Go to half guard, block that transition. See if I can uh, wall walk here. There we go. And look, you know, look at these positions, man. Cage sitting, you know, like using the cage, you know, or the ropes because it's pride, but you know, it's not just there. It's actually used for something. And this guy's just grinding me out here. That's the other thing, man. If you want to be like kind of be like a, oh, I dropped him. Should have foot stomped him. I don't know why I didn't. Not, I guess I'm just not used to it. But that's the thing. If you want to be like a, uh, um, uh, like a, like a grindy fighter, you can be like you know, an Usman or. You know, I can't really think of other guys who, you know, grind out their opponent, but, but I'll top of my head, but, like, if you want to be a grinder, you can be in this game. Like, I feel like this guy, that's what this guy's trying to do to me. He's trying to grind me out every time, you know, he gets a chance. He tries to take me down, tries to push me against the ropes. You know, he's trying to just, you know, get this dirty boxing going and just trying to grind the life out of me here. Here we go. It will be round number two. That's a style I feel like you don't want. Oh, I'm talking too much. Get up. Get up. I was hitting the wrong button. Like you can't really be, you know, a grinder in UFC 4 without it being kind of spammy, I guess. Look, this guy pushing me against the ropes again. I'm trying to circle out. Deny my transition. I don't want him to get full tie. Alright. He pulled guard, which whatever, if that's what you want to do. I'm more than happy 
Oh, I tried to reverse that. And obviously, it didn't work. So, uh, yeah. Oh, we're back up, though. Man, I, get, I can't take too much more damage. Yeah. No. Oh. If that had landed, that would have been it. That would have been it. And that's the other thing about this game. If you guys know, there's, there's no tracking or it's very little. I'm not sure, you know. Because if that was UFC 4, that would have tracked me and it would have ended the fight even though he was so far out of range. And I feel like that's, you know, it's like a crutch. You know what I mean? And he uses head control to like you should have to be in the proper range if you want to land your strikes. No way. Alright. We gotta get up here. Get up. Nope. Nope. Yes. Alright. My head damage is a little low. You gotta be careful. He better be careful that the doctor doesn't stop I want that run. rock back, though. Oh, yes. What a yeah, here we go. Punch. Knees. He dropped him. Come on. So Knee him to the head. There we go. Knee him to the head. The yes. Oh, I blew my stamina, though. Okay, no. He's got to pull the head. No way. That is really tight. Man, I blew my stamina. All right, there we go. We're out. This, We're out. Oh, he switched it. And that was a solid round of mixed martial arts. If he had like 10 more seconds, that would have been it. And then you guys would have laughed at me for losing to the AI. Oh. But now, nah, man, this game, even even the AI in this game is tough, as you guys see, man. I think I don't have it on Legendary either. I have it on the one below it, Expert. And this is, uh, you know... Maybe it's just not me not knowing the game, but it's and not. It's not easy. Action. I feel like that would have been it. If he had hit that soccer kick, that would have been it. Well, I, I feel like I got to finish this guy. So, yeah, if you guys don't know the pride rules, uh, the first round is 10 minutes, and then I put it on three rounds. So there's two, you know, there's two... Five minute rounds after that. Ooh. So, this has been, you know, a war. This is the third round. I cannot let this guy. I knew he was going to do that. See what we can do. Yeah, I want to get up. I don't even want to be in this dude's guard. Well, I'm kind of glad I got to kind of showcase s some of the grappling. But man, I want to get up. Now, now I just want to fight here. Okay, kick. I'm trying to dodge one of these punches and come with an overhand. Oh, I almost got caught. Man, this guy is just sticking to me like glue, though. Look at him. He's not giving me no space. He wants, you know... He wants to pull guard. Look at this clinch work, though, man. Come on, knee him to the head. Damn, he's just crashing into me. You guys see that? See, that's something you can't do in, you know, the EA games. You can't just crash into somebody. Like, he, like he timed me throwing an overhand and just... He, he tied me up. It's pretty cool, man. You know, even though I'm kind of getting frustrated here. I want to end this guy. Because I don't feel like I'm going to win the, you know, I'm not going to win the decision. Ooh, the head kicks are rocked in. There we go. Oh, no stamina. You guys notice, no block breaking. You take arm damage, but your block does not break. Oh, nice. I ducked the jab. And I came over with the overhand left. Diego Sanchez ends this in convincing fashion.
But yeah, man, I feel like it's a little bit more realistic. Like I said, you know, maybe the striking isn't, you know, over time it hasn't aged well. But the grappling, man. You see, that's what I always say in every interview. Aim I always end up talking about how I love this game more than did. the fight. But look at right that. Malcolm goes flying. Black. No oh. human being on he Earth duck his jab. Boom. But yeah, guys, let me know if you yeah, want to see more of this because I will gladly again. make more videos of this. I will gladly play this game if it's something you guys want to see. You know, I want to do what you guys want to see. I know a lot of people still like UFC 4. I still like UFC 4 too. You know, it's not it's not the greatest game by any means. I mean, come on now. I'd be lying if I said it was. But if you want to see more of Undisputed 3, all you got to do is hit the like button. You don't even have to comment. Just hit the like button and that will let me know. But alright guys, that is going to be it. And I'll see you in the next one.